my brothers and sisters greetings most of the time people will back a, a hometown boy or girl who does well in sports or entertainment or politics they are proud of their product and they feel they are part of the successful person well no can say why then did the people of Jesus own hometown reject him? The gospel says that they found him too much for them. Too much what? The meaning seems to be that he was making too much of himself in their opinion, that in their view, he was just an ordinary person, a carpenter, Mary's son, who was, who was he probably for them to have turned prophet into prophet. Preaching like a prophet, he aroused the animosity of Jesus' townsfolk. If Jesus had been a, a sport figure, an entertainer, or even a politician, he would have been no threat to the people. They would have been proud of him. But the prophet in today's readings, we hear Ezekiel telling us, they shall know that the prophet has been among them. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 5. In that sense, what is a prophet? We tend to think a prophet is someone who forecasts the future. Of course, some Old Testament prophets did know the future. But being a prophet is much more broader called to proclaim the good news of what God has done and what he is prepared to do. That's why we call them prophet. When you look at it that way, it is clear that we are all called to be prophets. That might uh, be sound scary. You don't have to be worried. The same spirit who empowered Ezekiel, Isaiah, Elijah, and all others. You have all you need to become a prophetic voice in your home and community. However, a prophet speaks God's word. And that word comes from the Holy Spirit, not just from the prophet's own thoughts and imaginations or, or thinking. So the best thing we can do is to open our hearts to the Holy Spirit. To the Holy Spirit more and more each day. God doesn't want to make it hard for us to become prophetic. We just have to step out in faith and test the results. We can light the way for others, telling them about the abundant life that God has in store for them. Why Jesus was not accepted in his hometown. First of all, in Jesus' own words, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kind of his own house. Second, a prophet can upset people. Third, a prophet can present a challenge or a review. Fourth, a prophet proclaims the truth. So Jesus' neighbors were afraid of him for all that. Fear leads to rejection. 
the people of Nazareth became like uh, their ancestors to whom God has sent the prophet Ezekiel. They were hard of face, the prophet Ezekiel. We can see that. Yes, they were obstinate of heart. They were not willing to listen to the prophet. What a shame it was. There was Jesus, actually, more than a prophet, the Son of God himself, right in their midst. They rejected him. Many people still reject him. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit will open our hearts and eyes to accept Jesus as the Savior of our lives, as the Savior who came to bring salvation to all humanity. May God bless you.